Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan. Today we are making elote. Corn? I don't never eat no corn. Oh. <laughs> yes, I said that, elote, vegan style elote. So if you don't know what elote is, it's basically like um, Mexican street corn. Let me just tell you what goes on it, okay? So obviously we have our corn, we have vegan milk, or any plant-based milk that you wanna use. I'll be using lemon pepper, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, nooch, vegan butter, black pepper, creole seasoning, raw cashews, sazon, and vegan mayo. You can boil or roast the corn or grill it however you want, but it needs to be cooked already, and then you just basically top it with your ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this water, and normally this would already be hot and boiling, but since I'm showing you guys on the, from the counter, I'm just gonna add it to room temperature water for now. And then I'm gonna get my milk. So I pour in a little bit of milk, a little bit more milk. So that's probably about a cup. And then vegan butter. The reason why I add milk is because the milk brings out the sweetness of the corn. If you didn't know that, then you know now. And I'm just gonna put in some butter. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. And I'm using um, Earth Balance, duh. Vegan butter, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to boil the corn for about 25 to 30 minutes, maybe even less than that, until basically the corn is done, it needs to be soft. So while the corn is cooking, we're gonna make our Parmesan cheese. So I already have my cashews and my Ninja, my Ninja personal blender, and that, I have approximately 12 ounces. It's kinda hard to gauge because it's not flat, but it's approximately 12 ounces of cashews. And then I'm gonna add in one third of a cup of nutritional yeast, cause I like mine extra cheesy. Most people don't really use that much nutritional yeast, but I'm not most people. I'm me, I'm my own self. I like what I like. Put that in there. And I'm gonna put in my Mrs. Dash garlic and herb salt free seasoning blend. I don't really measure this, but some of y'all wanna know, so about a half a teaspoon, okay? And then my sazon, you don't have to add this, this is just what I'm adding to mine. Only a little bit. Sazon is very strong, and I don't want it to overpower the cheese, because I'll use this for other things. But don't worry, Sazon's probably gonna make another appearance a little later. And I'm also gonna add a half a teaspoon of Tony's Creole seasoning. Optional as well, you don't have to add any of this if you don't want. This is just how I'm making mine, and it's good, so you might wanna do what I do, okay? Okay. So, screw that on, and we're going to pulse this up. So I'm going to blend it until it is really fine. Okay guys, so our corn is all done and instead of using the skewers, I actually just used the corn holder, corn on the cob holder, because the skewers were not strong enough. So basically what we're gonna do is very, 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 very simple. We're gonna do this first, we're gonna get the mayo, and we're just gonna put mayo on the corn. And obviously this is not soup, it's not like health conscious, but it's good. All right, so you see, covered in mayo. Um, I'm using Cholula. Um, I like the Valentina, but you can use whatever kind you want. So what I like to do is go ahead and get my lemon pepper, and I will just put it over it like that. 
And then I'm gonna get my cheese. I told y'all it's gonna get messy. And I don't have any more um, tahini. Otherwise, I will be throwing that on here too. And for just a little extra spice before I put the hot sauce in, I'm gonna put a little bit more Creole seasoning on it. Not a lot at all. Vegan butter. Just like a little drizzle all the way around. Cause this is a fat boy style elote. And then my hot sauce. Look y'all. <laughs> Safe to say it was good. I probably have all types of stuff on my face, but this was amazing. I definitely recommend you make it at home. If you do, do not forget to tag me. It is so good, like, no lie, like mind blown, big time. I'm about to eat another one, but y'all ain't about to judge me, so. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Click the notification button to be alerted anytime Find Apple Vegan uploads a video. And until next time, see you guys later.